Good morning. Happy Monday. I have been sick for the last couple of weeks. It did not start off my new year as expected, but who says my new year can't start now? <laughs> so let's get up. Let's have a good start to my day. So I made my bed, that was huge, uh, and then I just made some breakfast. I just made half a bagel toasted with honey pecan cream cheese, and I sliced up an apple. So it's 8.15 right now. I have to leave here at like 9. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I have to leave here at 9 for a basketball practice, like for my high school girls. I keep starting various vlogs and not finishing them. So I keep forgetting like what I've like actually shared and what I haven't. So in case you missed it or I didn't share it and I'm just like thinking I did, I help coach a local high school girls varsity basketball team. So we have practice. In about an hour or so, and so I'll leave at 9 for that. Okay, I'm going to eat this. I also made some lemon water. I've missed this. I'm going to watch YouTube eat this. I'll see you after. Okay, I just changed into like some sweatpants, a hoodie that's not way oversized, and I grabbed my coat. We are headed to practice. Now I'm just gonna see you when I get back because I'm not gonna bring you to a high school full of like, you know, my team and stuff. Like that's a little weird. So I'm gonna see you whenever I get back. Oh my God, you can't even see me. Okay, oh my God, everything about this. Hi, I just got back from practice. I ran to Target. I don't know how I'm supposed to show you. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this. I'm a little scared doing this, but we'll, we'll let it ride. Um, I didn't have a Target bag with me. Like, I have a few reusable ones, so I just had to buy one. Okay, I'm, I'm really, um, thirsty. Um, I wanted to stop and get a few things. I wanted to get some snacks, and then I needed a new, like, bath mat thing. Like, right when you get out of the shower. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. I don't know what it is. Still on my animal cracker fix. So I got more of those. Got a healthy snack and an unhealthy snack. I have stuff here, by the way. I have more snacks, but I just didn't have enough options. I got more chips and salsa. Um, I think the best thing is the restaurant style salsa and then the bite sized chips. I love being an adult and being able to buy like whatever I want. It's amazing. Um, I was craving a Pepsi, so I got that, and then I know I'm low on milk, so I just grab like a small thing of it. I think that's it outside of my bath mat. I just need something quick and easy um, to replace the one I already have. So I'm going to go put this put this away and put my stuff away. Okay, um, it's about 12.15, so practice went well, everything. I am going to change from this into just like 
something for the day. Um, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna heat up lunch because I'm starving. Okay, I just throw on like some yoga pants and I have a tank top under this, but it was like a little cold, so put this on over. Um, I reheated up what I had as like leftovers from last night, some enchiladas. And then I have a Celsius. It's the Raspberry Acai Green Tea. I love Celsius, but I don't like their carbonation. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like I like carbonated drinks, but I can't. Mm. I usually do the mango, but that's really good. Okay, I'm just gonna watch YouTube on my phone and eat this. I'm so hungry. Okay, I finished eating. I have the dishwasher going on in the background, if you can hear that. But I, wow, that was so aggressive. Okay, you can definitely hear that, sorry. But I have all of my books right here, at least the majority of them. And between Christmas and a recent Target trip, I have a book haul I want to get because I feel like this is just like so good. And like my friends gifted me stuff, my family gifted me stuff. And then I found like two books I'm obsessed like with, like I'm just like so excited about from Target. Okay, so I just want to like put you down and give you a haul. This is weird, I admit it. Again, and if you aren't, <laughs> if you're like new here, I feel like you're like, Jay-Z, where's your couch? But I sold it for my move. That's happening oh so quickly in probably like two very short months. So, <coughs> okay, I need to, this is just so bad. This is the stack of books that we are going to be hauling. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm just gonna start with the two that I bought myself um, from Target. But the first one is Hooked. I think I saw, maybe it was Sarah, um, last name starts with a C, can't remember, here on YouTube. She talked about it, and it's like a Peter Pan retelling, but it's um, not like, oh, just like, it's a retelling. But not like the same story just from Hook's perspective. It's just like, I don't know, it's pretty intense. And I kind of, kind of going in half blind. Like I skimmed over the synopsis, but I just remember who someone talking like, oh, this is going to be so good. And I saw it at Target and I was like, sold. The second book. For those that, God, that is so loud. And I'm so sorry. I hope this camera is like good about drowning that out. But um, for those that know me, know that... I love orca whales. Like a killer whale is my spirit animal. It is my favorite animal. It's like the like biggest thing on my bucket list is to see one in the wild. I don't know like what it is, but like I've never been to Sea World or anything. I refuse to do that. But I've watched like every single like orca documentary video. Like I mean, it's ridiculous. So I kind of go in phases of like how much I'm watching them, but last like like last week I had these like three nights in a row that I was like just watching orca videos and then I go to Target the next day and I see this book and it's called A Whale of the Wild and it's I can't like oh my god so it's about like whales in this in a pod that like one of them is separated and it's like told from a whale perspective like like that's the mindset of this it's it's like, um, okay, Vega, a young orca whale, lives with her pod in the Salish, I'm saying that right, sea, when a double tragedy strikes her family and Vega and her little brother are separated from everyone they love, it's up to Vega to keep Deneb safe. Um, their journey is full of peril and wonder and Vega and Deneb, I can't believe, oh, I hope I'm saying that right to me, Deneb, like what? Um, encounter a giant octopus, strange killer whales, and packs of hunting sharks as they travel into the blue wilderness of the deep ocean. Will Vega be able to protect her brother and find her way home? Will her beloved sea ever be the same again? I just, like, I've never seen a book like this. And I just, it was fate. I had to get that book. The next book is from my friend. Um, this is so beautiful. First of all, like, let's just talk about this cover. I'm sorry. But it's, um, it, I, it's like a poetry book. So it says, Leave Her Wild, that's the name of it. And it says, For women and the girls they once were. Aww. 
Um, but it's like mind, body, soul, like it's, it seems pretty interesting. Like it seems like one of those books that like, or like poetry book, whatever, it's a, it's a book, um, that you just like pick up occasionally, like read a few, and honestly it's just gorgeous. Like that's a book you would put like on your table. The next book I got from a friend as well for Christmas, and it's The Spanish Love Deception. I'm excited about this one. So I had The American Roommate, I think is what it's called, on like my wish list or whatever. It's mainly because I just heard such mixed reviews that I was scared to read this book. But technically, like you can read them standalone, but it's like a, if you know, you know, I think, between The Spanish Love Deception and The American Roommate. So she got me this. She recommends it. That's enough for me. I'm going to read this soon. <clears throat> the other book she got me is A Discovery of Witches. Now, I'm totally in this, like, fantasy world right now. Like, a lot of the books I've been reading, honestly, are, like, a thriller or, like, a romance. And, like, I know that. But I really want to get into fantasy. I have a lot of fantasy books. And I just, like, I'm excited to dive in. And so her recommending this, like, has me excited. The next four books I got are from my mom for Christmas, and I am so excited. Her and I recently talked about how I read books in high school, and, like, they're, like, classics, and I want to reread them now and, like, annotate them and just, like, have a different perspective on them, like, now that's just, like, grown more since high school. Um, so that's, like, where she went with this. I had three of these books on my list. Um... And then this last one, I'm actually just going to start with this, but she got me a Christmas Carol. I've never read the Christmas Carol. Look how gorgeous, like, this cover is. That's also something that I would want to, like, put on my, like, on display like, during Christmas time. But she got me To Kill a Mockingbird. Pretty. The Outsiders, uh, this book. And then The Green Mile. I kind of want to do a video where it's, like, I'm reading classics for a week or like I don't know like where I'm just like dedicating time to like these are solid books and I'm going to annotate the hell out of them and then the last two are from my brother's boyfriend thank god he loves books because he like he got it you know what I mean like he understood but the first one he got me was love on the brain he just looked at my wish list and picked these um so I read the love hypothesis I think is what it is and I loved it. Like, it was just such a fun, like, romance read to have. Um, sped through it. So I think Allie Hazelwood's writing is probably what, like, really gets me through this. So I'm excited to read this at some point as well. And then the last book I got. Oh, my God. It's the way that I said last book and my camera said dead. So the anticipation, unreal. The last book that I wanted to haul was The Song of Achilles. And not only was I just very excited about this book, because I've heard nothing but amazing things, I love Greek mythology, but also, look at this book. It is stunning. Like, I just can't stop looking at it. I was like, I have never seen the version of this, like, before. Like, oh my god, he said he hadn't either. But he has read that book and absolutely loves it. So I'm excited. At least, like, we can bond over that. Um, okay. I don't think I fully had a complete thought on this, but I just wanted to go back to it. All three of these I read in high school. The Outsiders, To Kill a Mockingbird, The Green Mile. And I absolutely loved them in high school. Like, I loved annotating and, like, dissecting books, honestly. Um, and like poems and just like I I loved it analyzing all this stuff is enjoyable for me um, So I don't know what the concept of the video would be. Maybe it's just kind of like Rereading classics and I would just like maybe do two of these like maybe the outsiders and to kill a mockingbird and then the green mile as one or maybe all three together I'd have to see like how long it would take like or like what the video would be like, but I got some good books and I need to get reading honestly today so 
I have All Roads Lead Here that I'm reading currently as far as my physical books. So I kind of want to keep that up, but I have some clothes that I folded from laundry yesterday, so I'm going to put those away first, and then we'll see. Okay, so I was putting my clothes away, and... There's too much in here. And some of it is like, oh, these are more summery clothes, so I don't want to get rid of them. I just need to, like, put them somewhere else. I think I want to just, like, tackle this right now. Proud of myself for being motivated in any way to do it, but I think it's going to make me so much happier to just have in here what I can wear right now, between now and when I move in two months. Like, that's just going to make everyone happier. So, I'm going to take this off because it's getting real. Um, and <laughs> we're going to do this. Okay, that was way harder than it needed to be, but figuring out the camera, here's everything. Okay, so I just have so much going on. And honestly, I like a lot of it, but... I'm not wearing it all right now, so I need to probably just get rid of some things and then, like, take out things that just, like, I'm not wearing right now. Like, all that is pure summer. And look at all these hoodies. Like, I'm just, I gravitate towards the same ones, so I just need to figure this out now. Okay, the semi-hard part is over. I've cleaned out the closet and everything in there is, like, what I want to be in there. The problem is everything I've taken out. I went through all of these drawers which were like packed beyond belief and actually like organized it. Okay, come on. Like between like pajamas, socks, underwear, all the things. And then like look at this. Guys huge improvement huge improvement like I'm so happy because getting dressed every day it's annoying if I'm being honest like because like I want to look cute I know I have cute things but trying to like organize it all is the worst experience because I'm like pulling something out and other things are falling it's just annoying now the problem is I have stuff on here that's like I want to get rid of. I want to like kind of like stack away that summary stuff. I want to keep that. Um, then I have more. A lot of it's just like determining what to get rid of and like okay if I'm not gonna wear this is it really just seasonal I'm not gonna wear it or like what like do you really want that because what I'm trying to do now is like buy things that are good quality that I always want to wear so if I'm not like loving it just get rid of it and then other things like throw away whatever organize elsewhere so also pick some stuff that I need to get dry cleaned Thank God that my apartment complex has like a dry cleaning service in it. Like I just like go down to some floor I'm in my room floor right now. Um, and like they have lockers and all I got to do is just like put the stuff in a locker. Let them know it's in a locker. It's amazing. Um, oh my God, this closet. I'm just so happy. Okay, I'm going to now like pick up or whatever. A lot of stuff like I want to donate. So I just gotta figure it out. Like some stuff I just need to throw away because it's just like, that's old. Or like old socks or something. Like you're not gonna donate that. But some stuff I want to donate because I'm like, it's in good quality. Like it's a good condition, whatever. I just gotta figure out what to do about that. Okay, I'm gonna do this and we're gonna no longer have the mess on the floor. Oh my, I had to put my hair up for that. I'm not gonna lie, but it is clean it's clean I am so happy I feel so accomplished um, I took out anything that was trash and I um, went down and put in like my like dry cleaning in the locker and like submitted my order like 
I just feel so on top of things. And it's only 3.30. 3.30. Like, I just feel so good about this. I don't, I didn't show, um, but I have like a box here and then like a bag. So I grabbed a box because I've kept some boxes recently thinking about my move. So I put together a big box and just put all my clothes in there that are things I wanted to keep but just like didn't want right now. Um, and then I have that bag that is like donation. So I'm gonna tackle out a different time. Not having a car kind of makes that stuff hard, but that's a later problem. Um, it just feels nice to like have it done, put together, put away. It's amazing. Um, okay, so it's 3.30. I don't know what I want to do right now, but I just feel so good having all of that done. So I'm just gonna chill for a moment and look at like what games are on. I know like the final playoff game for like the first round wild card round is tonight but it's not till 8 15 and then i don't know what basketball is on i have it screenshotted somewhere because i looked at it last night but let's see okay i have a plan finally i was like just browsing doing nothing um <laughs> which was fine i just want to see like what youtubers posted today what was going on um so what I decided is I need to one journal because I haven't journaled in a few days and it's just kind of like nice to do even when I think I don't like need it. And then the next thing is I have my plans and goals like notebook or whatever. Um, and something I want to get back to doing is making like weekly goals so that I can have like weekly reflections and things like that. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I have my book, All Roads Lead Here. I'm only about 100 pages in, you know, basically 102. Um, so I want to read more of this. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. I just need to have the energy to like physically read. I got in this habit of using like audiobooks and so I need to just like, read this um and journal and then on my ipad here i put on the purdue michigan state game it's close right now michigan state is like never ranked and frankly i don't understand why because they're so good in any game they play i feel like it's always just so competitive so purdue's ranked third like they're a great team also like guys guys look at these nails don't focus on me focus on the nails I don't think they're gonna do it but french tip sparkly we love it um anyways <laughs> purdue's ranked third they're also obviously an amazing team of the ranked third it's like so it's a close game i'm gonna go now i'll check in with you later okay um it's a little darker now um it's after five i wanted to film this clip just i finished journaling i need to set my goals for the week i was just kind of like watching the game on my phone um, I finished the game. Purdue won by one point and it was a last second shot by Michigan that lost it. I mean, you know, they just missed the last second shot. And I just, I really want Michigan to win, so I'm a little bummed. But it's a little awkward. I don't have my lights on in my bedroom, so it's okay. But outside my bedroom window, like, I face other apartments. And I can, like, just straight up see someone. He's biking right now. And if I turn this on and he looked over here, like, we would just be making eye contact. Something about that just doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> it's just weird. So I need to shut this, turn on my light, and continue my night. But, like, I like having my windows open. But right now, it's, like, to the point where if your lights are on inside, people can see. So it's just a rant for nothing. This is a rant for nothing. But thanks for sitting here with me. I just wanted to give you an update. <sighs> okay. That was so, that's a, such a random update. So I just finished setting, like, my goals and stuff for the week. It's so sad when I see that I set goals like in a month or something. Like I put YouTube goals for January and obviously I didn't expect to be sick for two weeks. But it just kind of hurts knowing like mm, can't do that. Like I had planned out like ideas I had for each week um, for a video and well, you know, upload the one at the beginning of the year and then I 
well, didn't do that. So, that's a little unfortunate. We revised it. Obviously, like I said, can't plan to be sick, but it's still, like, my planning self, like, my organized self hates that. Anyways, um, I revised it, updated some plans and some ideas. So then I set goals for this week. I'm trying to get back into a routine. Like, now that I feel, like, 100%. I really liked a semi-routine I had the week between me sick and sort of better and then terribly sick. So, trying to get back to that type of routine I was getting into, which was like, I don't know, setting an alarm every morning. Before I was kind of just waking up when I woke up and it just wasn't great because then it allowed me to just go to bed whenever I went to bed. But I'm setting an alarm. I want to be up by 8 a.m. every day. I want to read every day. I want to journal more. So I put journaling three times. I don't want to go like journal every single day. Sometimes it just doesn't fit in my schedule or it's just not a priority. Um, and it's not something I want to force myself to do every single day. But I know I want to do it more. So I figured three times a week is pretty good. I want to upload the video that I'm filming now, which is just kind of like this vlog getting me, I don't know on track my new year starting and all the things and then i want to plan basically decide the video that i want to do slash film this week and you know like record that or you know vlog each day or whatever i'm doing so that's all i have right now i feel like that's good that's attainable I'll put check boxes for every single like day if i wanted to wake up at every like 8 a.m every day i put check box from monday to friday Today's Monday. I did that today. It was amazing. So, um, yeah, I am about to finish this YouTube video and then I'm gonna change into even comfier clothes, probably back into sweatpants if I'm being honest. And then maybe grab a snack. I'm not like terribly hungry for a dinner, but grab a snack and hop back into bed. And watch Bailey Sarian's new video. I'm obsessed with Bailey Sarian's like murder mystery makeup videos. She has a new one out today. God bless. It's on my agenda. It's an hour long. Even happier. So, okay. That's my update. I feel good. I feel just like so happy. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, I'm gonna continue this and update you when I have something to update you with. Okay. Okay, so I kind of forgot I was vlogging for the last hour, so I was like, I'm gonna go, like, change and get a snack and watch Bailey Sarian, and to some level that's true, I went out and I got some animal crackers, and then I was like, it's a little after six, and I feel like if I made food, I'd be hungry in an hour, like, I'd be ready to eat it, so I went ahead and just made some, like pasta with fettuccine sauce very simple it was good and I munched on animal crackers while it cooked <laughs> and then when I was eating it I was watching the old Bailey Sarian episodes I just forgot I was like filming and then I was like I was almost done eating and I was like oh shoot well my effort was there so now I'm back in bed <laughs> and it looks like I like didn't even move except put a hoodie on but I am going to do the work that I need to do, uh, like, for my job, and, like, get it over with, and then watch Bailey Sarian's new video while I do it, and then it'll be an hour, and then the last playoff game for football will be on, like, or last, like, wild card playoff game will be on so I think I'll do that so I don't think I'll vlog anything else like I mean this is it right like this I'm um, this is this is it for the night so I was glad to pick up the camera again I'm glad to feel like back to 100% again I'm excited for this new year I'm excited for like various goals I have and everything um yeah okay I'm really bad at ending videos so um Bye, and I'll see you in my next one.